my early influence uh, in photography was uh, Roman Wisniak, which was a Polish Jewish photographer who photographed in ghetto in Warsaw, and Polish photographer Buchak, who most of it was architectural photographer. But when I come to United States, uh, Ansel, Brad Weston, um, Edward Weston, and some of the bread, um, I really start enjoying his um, kind of simple subject, abstract subject, uh, which was very missing with Ansel work. It was very only few. I love Ansel work too, and Edward. But Brad got this idea of, of I don't know, was it conscious or unconscious, but then. When I spent some time on the wetland and weather and clouds never cooperated, I was looking for some quiet, simple subject. And uh, I still remember that Brad did a couple Thule shots, very abstract. I didn't know what it was even, you know. So maybe conscious or unconscious, I start in my kind of time, downtime, start photographing Thule everywhere I go, every country, for like 20 years. And most of them, I never release it. I released this one and actually sold like all 200 edition very quickly. And I was like, whoa, people appreciate whatever I appreciate, you know? So I started releasing all these very abstract images and then doing that in China, Poland, uh, Italy, everywhere I go. Uh, and they almost could be anywhere, but it's something to, to do and sometimes concentrate and slow down my approach to photography. Um, sometimes I know and sometimes I'm surprised and sometimes it takes even 10 years before I figure out how to print the print. So it seems like a simple thing, but it, it is not. The, your personal vision and approach to printing, it's so simple but in other cases it's so difficult to figure out how to do that to to and sometimes depends on my feeling how i feel if i am uh, you know happy exciting prints come different when i'm a little bit depressed or or different mood they come different too so uh, i never my, and i usually from beginning when the, there was a that school that every print should look the same you know there was like I never paid attention. Every my prints is different, even today. They, they never come the same. And that was before digital era. And I was always right, that, 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 that's what it is. You know, you don't want to produce the same print. And I never um, write down number or, or note how to print. I always go fresh to that approach. That's only I know, and I think that I know well. <laughs> And for me, I don't have nothing against digital photography. And I, you know, I love shoot with iPhone and I actually a year ago purchased digital camera. And sometimes, you know, occasionally I take it like, you know, for fun. But um, for me, the silver print has some incredible quality, which can be matched even today with such advanced technology and digital to the silver print. I think sort of like a living thing, the silver print is something magical about it. So that's all I know and I stick with it. <laughs> uh, I'm, I have a respect for, you know, churches, synagogue, you know, a million people pray, they, they have a power, but the most free and, and, and exciting and, and, uh, and inspire is being nature. Yeah. And I try to, um, all the time, whatever I can, and the camera is a great excuse to be there for endless hours, you know. Um, so yeah, for me, escape from human chaos, noise, wetland, and rapparian woodland is the perfect place to be. <laughs> <laughs>